only when I hear you. Meow. Gosh, just constantly, just meh. Meow. Hey, cat that last sitters. episode. Where are my cat last... sitters at? There you go. Do that. <laughs> oh, God, I like that we're Full like. <laughs> I like that we're really like unqualified, uh, like guidance counselors. I know, I know. Real quick, before we start launching into this whole thing again, I just want to point out, I love the aesthetic of immersive engineering. Yeah. God, look at this. And they've added so much more. It's like spinning around in the, it's the biodiesel, and it kind of dawned on me when I took a look at your little setup for the distillery. Yeah. I mean, just it's like we're just going over here. We're just going to take a walk right down the hallway, and we get to the distillery area. Mm -hmm. And we got the farms on one side. I should probably fix this up a little bit, see if I can get something different for that. And we get the distillery right here. And then look at this beautiful piece of yep. symmetric art. I, right. I, I did that on purpose. I did that on so purpose. That's a Y and the wire feeding right through. Yep. So this bad boy doesn't seem it's to a take a ton face. of power. It's already got, full. Yeah, it, it was full 30 seconds after I turned it on, so... <laughs> Um, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to start working on, cause okay, this is done. So let's see, alternative steam. If you want, uh, if you don't, if you don't want fancy using the power of the sun to generate your steam. So you can do this two different ways. You can make a boiler mm -hmm. or you can make, and it's actually quest. So we'll probably make stuff for both. You can either make a boiler, which is uh, iron sheet metal, steel scaffolding, fluid pipes, heavy engineering block, redstone block, not too crazy. But it says uh, the boiler requires fuel in the form of biodiesel or diesel. So this needs fuel. Okay. But if you go with the solar tower, the solar tower is used to create steam from either water or distilled water. It requires at least one solar reflector to function. Distilled water is more effective than regular water. So with this one, there's no power. It's, it's a the reflector. Power. It's the, the downside power of the is that it takes a silver block per reflector, and it only yeah. works during the day. Yeah. Because obviously, solar tower <laughs> needs solar energy to heat up the water, means the sun needs to be up. But the nice part about it, though, is is that one, you just have to sleep to be able to pull that off. It's free. Uh, and it it's free. And the fluid tanks can hold steam mm -hmm. so even though it's can stockpile even, steam even though it's a gas the fluid tanks can actually hold it so yeah you I could eventually would cool down and condense back into water but you know that's physics micro doesn't deal yeah. with physics very well i know i know yeah i i, I saw dirt block in the air with a tree growing out of it okay i don't think we're gonna, <laughs> i don't think i don't think we're gonna spend too much time I'm analyzing a, a miniature rod in the dark oak here and a little, exactly. little bonsai pot and it's exactly. automatically growing, breaking itself down and dumping into a chest. Yeah, I don't yeah. think physics is at the yeah. forefront but, of uh, but I, of but yes, I can, memory. I can see why you're arguing condensation in a video game. I get condensation. That. Condensation. 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 All right, so. Uh, I think right, I want so to move a couple of these cloches. Okay. I think I want to get the corn one. I have to just get one of them. Just get the I'm going to be dead honest with you. You probably don't even need as many anymore. You could probably stop. I mean, we have th almost 13,000 uh, seeds in here. And, I mean, you know, you could have a couple set up for corn. But, like I said, if you wanted to throw potatoes or, or wheat or carrots or anything else in the, you know, some in the, some of them, just so we have alternative food. But to be honest with you, I've just been eating corn. We've talked about this before. We don't have to revisit the That's husk situation. A so. better idea is just to put <coughs> the tops. I'll still put one for... Nah, we don't need that. Let's forget that. Now, you, there is, you can pump out of these using the pipes. I just don't remember how. Did you pick up a couple of connectors? Uh, fluid pipes, you mean? No, connectors, the, the things on top. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I know. There they are. Got them. Yep. Got them. Got it! Yeah, um, yeah I know right. I know you can, and I know that the conveyor belts work. Yeah. To get the, the stuff out, which is great. Well, yeah, but we had an issue with that, so... But, okay. yeah, you, you leave the conveyor belts on too long, and eventually they'll get full, and so that causes a huge amount of lag, because when there's... 
12,950 seeds laying on the ground. I said I was sorry. A server kind of crashes. I said I'm sorry. But to be honest with you, and, and, on, and the thing is, if we didn't have the weirding gadget, it wouldn't matter because they wouldn't run when we were offline. But I'd much rather have things running, especially now that we have a way to make a lot of cold coke. Yeah. I'd much I'd much rather have this running um when we're off. Cause all we got I mean we just put a chest up there and we can just drop coal in there until you know we're blue in the face. So Indeed. All right, let's do that. Okay. Can I grow pumpkins and melons? Yes. You can grow cactus in there. Ooh. Uh you have to put down sand. Um which might not be a bad thing to grow. Uh, if we have any cactus, um, I think we do. Uh, I imagine we could probably grow um, sugarcane too, right? Yep. Okay, that. And I think, and I think paper. it grows at the same speed. It actually grows pretty fast. So. Okay, what is paper all used for? Books, chisel designs. Um, um there is some grow. stuff. Oh, shells. Let's see. Hold on. Shells are useful. Okay. Crafting uh, formula. Bookshelves, packing tape, scrolls, paper walls, medical I think bandages. Trading for villagers. I want to say there's something that's not showing in the engineer's workbench. I thought one of the things you needed paper to make other stuff. And I might be wrong. I don't know. I know so. you can use them for blueprints. Yeah. But I don't well, think you no, have I enough thought... need for that. Mm -mm. So I'm thinking probably cactus, not that. cactus green, and I don't know if you can grow. I wonder if you could grow roses and dandelions in there. I know we're gonna need cactus green, rose red, and um, dandelion yellow at some point. Uh, well, there's a desert not too far from us, so let me go actually go over there. Are you sure we don't have any cactus? I figure I would have punched one by now. No, we, we don't. Got some. I want to experiment. Okay. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to take two seconds out of what I'm doing, and I just want to see if I put in a piece of dirt and a rose, uh, a poppy. I wonder if it'll work with those. Because that would be kind of uh, cool. I can't put them in there. Can't put what? Uh, you can't put poppies and stuff in, the, okay. in there. For cactus, you're going to need sand. You can't put it in with dirt. Yeah. Cat doesn't need sand, which is fine. I can do that. If we want to get poppies and, and stuff, we'll have to get like a botanic mi void miner, apparently. Yeah, I which is a just thing. Go, or we can just go down to the ground with bone meal and smack him. I I went and got uh, where did I put that stuff? I went. There was a fossil bone structure thing out in the world. Oh, I love those things. I went and broke it, and I got over three and a half stacks. Uh, bone blocks and one bone block becomes nine bone meal so we have what would that be uh, a couple thousand bone meal technically so yeah getting rose red and yellow cactus is a little bit trickier even though we're by a desert you put in those cloches it, it'll just start chugging it out so yeah okay I got um, beets in there I got carrot uh uh, wheat, melons, pumpkins. And... Now, the the nice thing with some of this stuff, if we have a, a backstock of it, because you're going to have to put down more of these things. If we have a backstock of this stuff and we get into the, we get a crusher from mechanism, it'll crush any of those things, any of that excess stuff we have down it's to biofuel. Bio, biofuel, which we can put in a biofuel generator and in essence, you have it hooked up right in there. You're, you're running free power. Oh, yeah. All right. So I need, let's see, 20 steel fences. Let me see. Do we have any of this stuff? We have eight. We have scaffolding. Don't worry. We got plenty of steel. No, I know that. I just I'm being, lazy. being lazy and didn't want to make it. Uh... Um, I'm actually thinking <laughs> of setting up an assembler over here. Because I absolutely love assemblers. They okay. are super handy and super useful. Um, so I need six steel scaffoldings, nine iron sheet metal, six iron sheet metal slabs, 
two redstone, engineering, one two light, and two conveyors. Okay. Alright. Boop, boop. Oh, not that. Let's grab these real quick. That's mm. right. <coughs> How do I make throat. that? You alright? Yeah, I'm good. Just right. stuck on my throat. Sheet metal. Nine? Sheet. Yeah. So how are things going in your neck of the woods over there, huh? Oh look, you already got the plans, the plans for auto assembler. Go figure. What I do? The quest for auto assembly is completed. Well, it's because we made the stuff oh, be before. Be and also because I just made the slabs for it. Yeah, that was probably the last thing you needed. So. Yeah. Um. Good. Good. Nothing. I mean, you know, Heather and I just being. Old, I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> we Being seriously, fun. it's it's. I get like super jazzed to like uh, yard sales and stuff. Super oh, you stuff. and your yard sailing. I I don't know what it is. Okay, so my mom used to come home, right? And and I and I can still argue this one because I have I, I feel I have somewhat of a valid argument and two because I'm kind of a prick. So those are the two things that are, are kind of rooting in my favor. So hear me out. It'll make sense. So when I moved out, you know, or not, I moved out when I was younger, I mean, I already had kids and I was married at the time and everything. And I'd be like, Oh, you know, we need to get a desk or we need to get a bookcase or we need to get whatever. And my yeah. mom would be like, Oh, you know what? Are we, you know, me and Clyde were out the other day and we, uh, we 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 saw one uh, at a at a yard sale, and I would just be like, "Ew, who wants to get a yard sale? So gross." Now, that's me being a prick. That's the prick side, okay? Okay. The, the valid side is I'd be like, oh, "I gotta buy pants." She'd be like, "Go to yard sales." I still can't do that. I still, for me, I can't buy used clothes. It's just I, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to be pretentious or anything like that. It's just weird little thing in my head. I just can't do it. Um, for me, now, buying them for the kids, thats I don't care. That's fine for me because they're going to destroy them or grow out of them in like four days anyway. So I'm really not that insanely heartbroken about that, right? But, yeah, when it comes to uh, for myself, I just can't do it. I can't. So, but no, I don't know. Like I said, I mean, that's... You know what it is? It's really not even about yard sales. It's literally the fact that that's how let's like Heather and I are time out. It's yeah. It seems like it's more of a we're spending time together away mm. from everyone else and looking at some some potentially neat stuff. Yeah, that seems like it's we, more like which I we, I, I, I am a hundred percent down for. I Heather just find and I, it weird that you guys do it every single weekend. Oh god, like and look, you actually look, get stuff. We you do. don't just find it. Well, it's it, it, fun. Yeah, just, it's two, it, it's it's two part. Okay, it's twofold here. Let me explain. Okay, we always joke when we talk to people at yard sales, you know, other sailors. That's what I like to call them. Um, that you know, when we leave the house, we're not looking for anything, but it's not necessarily true because there are times that that Heather and I will be like, oh, you know. One of the kids needs a new backpack or whatever. Um, we got their bikes uh, through that, you know. But for the most part, it's literally just because Heather and I don't drink. So we don't go to clubs. You know, I don't dance. We don't drink. You know, the majority of our friends are the squad. So, you know, I think it'll be it'll be exciting when you move here. Because then it'll be like I can go hang out with somebody in the real world that, you know, that's it. Just to hang out with somebody in the real world, you know? Yeah. So, um, and that's what we, and for anybody, you know, doesn't know, Snoop's hoping they're planning on trying to move Tucson. Uh, and then not, you know, a, a little while after that, then... Uh, probably have Sarah move here as well. Sarah's going to move here as well. Anyways. Awesome. Yeah. So Heather and I are all stoked about it because, you know, we love there hanging out with each other. People nearby. We love hanging out with each other, but at the same time, we're okay being apart, but right now being apart just means that we're by ourselves. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm, 
or with trust the kids. Me. Well, the, yeah. Well, no, then we're not, you know. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways. <laughs> but, what do you up. mean to say there, Modi? No, I get you. It's different. Go it's be kids. in some place with the kids is like work. It's, it's um, it's, I mean, it's, it's basically cool. it's basically a hospice care. <laughs> it's it's more of a hostage situation than anything else. I'm going to be dead honest with you. I mean, you know, if we're, let, let, let's call it what it is. Anyways, but uh, yeah, no, we just go out and you know, it's really exciting when we find something like stupidly cool. Um, and but we we could probably go to like. Oh, 50 yards. We're out for like six hours at a time. It's it's super dumb. But uh but yeah, man, we get all jazz about it. And like, you know, we're sad when <laughs> we're sad when the, the it's an entire week. I guess this is the closest we had to like people who have real jobs and are sad on Monday. I hate Mondays. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you and Garfield, so there we go. That's more like it. Check this out. Hold on, I'm, I'm I'm in the middle of building this bad boy up here. Uh, oh. the tower. Yep. Nice. The solar tower. I didn't make the other parts yet. Um, now, depending depending on our reach, the we the only have one block of silver, so you can only make one. Yeah. But I will get the parts for the the, the bits for the next one. Did um, we? Did we did we use the silver for something, or just not been able to find it's, one? It's used for uh, electrum. Oh, okay. So that's where I saw For the one. MV stuff. Yeah. So I need uh, six tree wood fence and four steel scaffolding, two light and strength blocks. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really looking forward to spending time out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be fun. Like I, I think said, it'll be a lot of fun. You know, I mean, we still have work to do, and I mean, it'll be. It'll be interesting for you because it, for this to work, basically Snoop has to uh, um, become a work from home guy, yes. which will be which will be new for you. Which will be you know, I'm sure that Very alone new. is kind of cool. So, and, but, a, little, uh, and a little daunting. Um, it that is means that I'll have to be be sure to practice extreme discipline. Yeah. Um, well, and and I, and I can say is as weird as this may sound. I I have some experience in this because this job 100% is uh, and 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 by the way I mean this in the most loving way possible Heather will admit this left and right she's totally an enabler so if she's like so well sometimes sometimes she'll be like I'll be like hey you know we uh I've already gotten a taste of that <laughs> with Sarah yeah oh no don't worry about it go ahead and uh, and play your game yeah but it, it uh, Yes, dear. Mm -hmm. And of course, I think we'll play my game. And then I feel bad about it because I could have spent time with her doing the same thing. Well, no, what I'm talking about is but like... Yeah, I'm, and then I could, have, uh, I could have recorded my videos and gotten the stuff online and, you know, have that in place so I can make some money. Yeah. But instead of no, playing video games, it's fun. I'll, I'll be like, oh, you know what, hon? You know, hear me out. Um, we could record or not. Like that, that's usually a, a roughly about as thick as my argument is, is yeah, we could record we could, or uh, not or not or not. So, uh, it has to be five blocks out. I think in this five version. to seven, I think, or five to eight or something Three, like that. Four. If it doesn't work, it might have to be exactly five, but I'm not, or at least five. Yeah. Anyways, but, uh, but no, like I said, it is it, it you know kind of going back to what you were talking last episode. It it really is a case of of you have to you have to be a self motivated person. Yeah. Whatever that motivation is, if it's just that's how you are as a person, if it's a wanting to succeed, if it's uh, you know from you know there's been times where it's I like food. That's my motivation. But in all honesty, Heather and I have five kids. They drive us crazy, but that and usually that kind of gets me going. And, and you'll you'll experience that a little bit more, Snoop. That I think you'll find won't be nearly as daunting. All right. So if we look inside of here, let's go ahead and I'm just going to make it day real quick. Okay. All right. If we look inside of here. We can see that uh, on the bottom one, it's lit up. So that means that one is working. That's that one there. Yep. Okay. 
it's just technically generating a pretty decent amount of steam. Yeah. It's now, 50 every two seconds. Something like that, man. Which isn't insane, but it's, but once you know. once you get and, four of these things set up. Exactly. So you set four of these up. You put them about the same distance apart. So we'll put them like here, here, here. Even this one, as long as this center block where the, the, the what, silver was, has to have a clear line of sight to the middle. So these yeah, wires. Put this these, in the center, right? Yeah, you did. Okay, good. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. Just, thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, once you have four of these going, it's obviously going to go four times fast. We've already got 4,000 buckets of 4,200 buckets of steam. So now, and that's just going to go. The The distillery is using so little power that that's really not going to be an issue. Um, yeah. Like like I said, it, it uses very little power to be able to, to do that. And I mean, if it became bad, you can just run straight water in, but I don't think we'd be getting the, the amount we have. Yeah, this guy's keeping up no problem. Power is full, water and distilled water are all completely full. So, <clears throat> all right, so you made the assembler? Yes. So the assembler is set up. Let me just get that there. Um, so this thing is taking uh, creosote oil from the Coke oven. Which is really cool because... Not a lot of auto crafting things. I know you can do it with like applied energistics if you get into that, like yeah. deep into that, but you can use fluid. Yes. In it. In so it can make fluid uh recipes. So Yeah, all you and, do is use the bucket form of the fluid or the container form of the fluid if you have like capsules from that from um forestry or whatever. Um yeah. in the recipe and just make the recipe in the one of the top bars there, the 3 by 3 grids. Mm -hmm. And then it'll automatically generate it as long as it has power. Now so, it uses power, and you can have up to three recipes in here at a time. Mm -hmm. um, and then, so basically he has dark oak uh, going into planks, and then the planks, and then he has a bucket of creosote, which it'll just take the creosote from the side over here. And uh, it'll make uh, this. So all you gotta do is put dark oak wood in the bottom here, right? Yep. So I could oh, it's a, feasibly... Oh, it's already making it. Yeah, it's, I've already made a whole bunch of it. I could feasibly put a uh, a hopper feeding in here yep. or uh, a conveyor belt feeding in there and then put a bonsai hopper on top of it with dark oak. The only problem is you'd get everything else. I would get uh, I'd get leaves and saplings, uh, saplings and sticks. Yes. Um, unless you, I don't know, filter made something out of something. sticks or whatever. So some kind of filter. All right. So yeah. throw throw some wood in here so I can see this bad boy go. Yeah, sure. So uh, I'll just grab uh, half a stack of dark oak wood. So we pop yep. that sucker right into here. And, and you can see there spitting it goes. Out the things. And as soon as it gets eight, it will, um, yeah, start consuming creosote. And we're not even seeing it happening because it's going straight into here. Yeah. Now, it. this is great because making treated oak planks sucks. It's tedious. Because you have to, you know, get a bucket of the juice, go back to the craft table, put it in the middle. And I know there's a thousand other ways you can do this. And you can do this stuff with applied energistics where, you know, you're pumping fluids in and, and doing all that stuff. But this is pretty easy, pretty early game. Mm -hmm. Being and it's not just it's for super the fluid. cheap to make too. You you can do it for anything. So if there's anything that is is if you're you could set one of these up to literally spit out um, uh, heavy engineering blocks, which are kind of a headache. Yeah. So what you would do? Let's look up. I'm gonna look up heavy real quick. Heavy D and the boys yep. here. That's the reference. So you could set up one spot to make pistons. Okay, so as long as all the stuff's in there, you can set up one spot to make the mechanical components. You would have to get the steel, but you could go straight off of the press here and pump it in. Yeah, and, and you would just have to have copper in there, and then so it would make. Yeah. And oh, then... yeah. Well, no, no, for the copper for oh. the uh, the mechanical. Oh, yeah, 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 components. And then you would just have to pump in electrum steel, and it would make those items, and then it would just spit out heavy engineering blocks. That's always. The heavy engineering blocks are always one that I've noticed that when you really get into immersive engineering, you need a lot of them, especially we're going to need them builds. soon. The the turbine we're going to make, 
takes a lot of blocks. Like I think actually, you know, we're just about the, we're at the, hell. We're at the end of this episode. If we Pretty look here, yeah. If we look here, look at industrial turbine in the book. In the quest. In uh, Mercer test. No, no, no. In the, in the quest book. Oh. Um, all right. Uh, that is industrial turbine. Yes. 27 steel shield sheet metal, 24 heavy engineering 24 blocks. 24 heavy engineering 10 blocks. blocks of steel. 10 blocks of steel. Pipes, radiator blocks, scaffolding, resident engineering block. So now, here's the fun two. thing with this. That's here's the, the fun thing with this. That does nothing. Oh, yeah. It does nothing. That, you need to have the alternator to, to get it going. Yeah. So the alternator, if you look in the book, we can't actually look at it, but it's the next quest. So there's actually a whole nother, I think that's a three by four by four, or three by three by three or something like that. Three by three by three. And I think it's four because it has. It's four yeah, long. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Four long. So you have to hook that up. And then once you have the generator and the alternator going, which once again is how this stuff actually works, then we can start pumping the steam in. So the point is between now and the next episode, if we're going to try and make this, we need to get our butts moving on steel. Hey, look, I found an en a couple ender tanks. Oh, nice. That'll actually definitely help with moving. Uh, hell, we could use that to if you wanted to to move to steam move and steam. put the and put the things anywhere else. So, yeah. you know what? Actually, you know what? Hold on to those. We could use that for the uh, pump jack. Oh, to for pump the oil. The oil up here. Yes, good idea. So, anyways, but yeah, so there we go. So we, uh, hey, we got some stuff done with some some real chit chat and talking going on and whatnot. And uh, I love the real talk. I know. Let us know down in the comments. Like like all jokes. I know fart jokes and being mean to Snoop and Snoop make that huffing sound at Modi and it's a good time, but. We do that in so much stuff. Like, I I almost want to like play Minecraft while we're doing like a senseless like podcast. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, that's not that weird. I don't know how many people be like, oh, you know, I love your videos. I mean, I don't watch them, but I just listen while I'm doing other stuff. And I'm like, really? And they're like, you run around 90% of the time. And I'm like, you're that's correct, true. but it's it still hurts to hear. It still hurts <laughs> to hear. So, do you all not think that I'm aware that I run around? You know what? Me running around is like a pilot going, uh, look at your left uh, window. It's that uh sound. Me running yeah, around right. is my brain buffering, trying to figure out what the hell is this. What, Kaczynski? That, so. this guy's name? Whatever. What, Ted Kaczynski? No, no, no. There was some, oh, it was some, 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 I think it was from StarCraft. Okay. Was, you scared me because I was the, like, are you calling me the uh, Unabomber? You are the Unabomber. I got a beard. and You're the Unimodi. I'm a Unimodi. That's when you have uh, two Modis, but they're connected with hair in the middle. So then it's, you know, money. All right, do the outro. I got stuff to do. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. Episode of Automaton. Uh, like Modi said, let us know in the comment section down below uh, if you like this kind of thing, if you enjoy the, the real talk stuff. And if you do, uh, let us know some kind of topics you might want us to uh, to discuss. We'll see our our, our, uh, our opinions on things. It'll be kind of fun. Um, as always, guys, I want to say thank you for joining us. If you are new to either of our channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, be sure to go check out our sponsors, Host Havoc. If you're looking for quality Minecraft servers and more, go check out Host Havoc in the description down below. Use the referral link so we know who has the absolute best fans. It's clearly us. It's a, yeah, it's, it's, it's dumb to even think anything out of the way. I mean, come on. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're both covered in spit now. Go on, you were saying. Uh, <laughs> Why am I drippies with goo? We I brought it back to Ghostbusters. Ah, full circle again. Uh, oh, right. As always, guys, thank you for joining us, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.